Pretty much everything that we ever see of Mars is rocks and dust and more rocks and more dust. But there is the occasional crater slung in for good measure, of course. But that's about the extent of the stuff to see on the old red planet. Occasionally, though, there's a little glimmer of something less rock-like, and at least a bit less. So we've gathered together some of the more weird stuff for you here. Well, we've tried anyways. From a bit of old spaghetti to a place with the giggle-worthy name of Butt Crack Rock, here are the 20 strangest things spotted on Mars. Number 20. Face on Mars is a classic. Over 40 years ago, the first images from the surface of Mars were sent back to Earth. These were captured by Viking 1, the very first spacecraft that we know of anyways, that was successful in its journey to landing on the red planet. When those images were first examined, one of them stood out from the others. This image seemed to show the face of a human in the dust of the planet's surface. The tabloid newspapers naturally took it a step further and announced such nonsense as monkey face on Mars, because of course they did. But despite all the silliness, people couldn't help but be transfixed by the sight of these strange but familiar shapes. This image alone probably drummed up a huge amount of public interest in the idea of life on Mars. It was the days before the internet beamed these things into our homes all the live long day, so it was more exciting than it sounds. In fact, some people took the shape in the rocks quite literally and figured that this was what the scientists were actually up there looking for. Really, the life on Mars that they were interested in was the tiniest, simplest forms, you know, on a microbial level, rather than the sort of life forms that might be apt to carve big old faces into rocks, but there you have it. This classic image has sparked more than a few imaginations in the decades since it was first captured, and it's easy to see why. But what do you think? Is it proof of aliens? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Okay, now maybe this is it. Maybe this is the picture of life on Mars that we've all been waiting for. Or maybe it's just a blotch on the lens or a scratch on the landscape. Are there actually aliens all over the red planet after all? Is this the real reason NASA hasn't sent humans to Mars? What do you think about all these alien shenanigans? As always, let me know all of your ideas in the comments section down below using the hashtag FancyTopic. Number 19. A Crab-Shaped Rock on Mars now, it does seem quite likely that much of the stuff we're going to be looking at is going to be rocks that are shaped like other things. Probably just vaguely shaped, and almost certainly rocks which have been overblown in terms of their actual significance by conspiracy theorists and tabloid headlines. But who could possibly say? The especially excitable people in the Perpetually Looking for Aliens Club have scoured all the really boring pictures of Mars in search of proof of extraterrestrial life forms. I mean, it has to be done. But wow, that is some dedication when all you have to look at is endless heaps of rocks and a load of dull old dust. But all that looking is not fruitless. They found something. It's a rock. Well, it's a rock that is kind of shaped like a crab, if you squint a little bit and use your imagination. But still, it's something, I suppose. Is it proof of aliens, or is it proof that Mars has crabs? Number 18. NASA Rover Discovers Strange Tangled Object on Mars on an essentially barren planet, what the heck is this tangle stuff? The rest of the surface of Mars is covered in dust and rocks, and there's nothing else to see here. But NASA images sent back a picture which has a lot of people scratching their heads in puzzlement. It looks like a lot like a tangle of string or some kind of spaghetti or some sort of organic plant life material. However, NASA has said nothing about what it actually is. Naturally, where there is no information forthcoming, people will make up their own theories. The best and 
perhaps most likely, is that it is a bit of wreckage from the landing of the spacecraft Perseverance, which sat down on Mars in 2021 to gather information. Otherwise, it's just still a bit of a mystery. The Mars rover that trundles about on the surface of the red planet often captures images that require a little bit of probing to figure out. It's captured such thrills as a bit of a thermal blanket that somehow got wedged against a rock, and other exciting things that alien hopefuls have chalked up to extraterrestrial activity. But what do you think? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. Number 17. NASA Rover Spots Surreal Spikes on Mars uh-oh, here are more strange rock formations, so brace yourselves. It seems that we're developing a bit of a trend in our search for aliens on Mars. The various rovers that are sent out there to trundle about analyzing shiz and sending images back to Earth for the NASA scientists to pour over keep finding weird rocks. I know, it's kind of crazy on a planet that seems to be made of rocks and dust, but it does just keep happening. How strange. The Curiosity rover was sent by NASA to explore a crater on Mars, and it found a bunch of weird rocks, a kind of surreal twisting spike structure that pokes out of the surface of the planet. NASA said that they believed that these rocks were likely the result of the natural cementing of ancient fractures in the sedimentary rocks on Mars. As the softer parts of the rock have worn away over time, the remaining parts are left in this gnarly, twisted, spiky formation. Who would have thunk it? Number 16. Doorway on Mars And here we go again. More strange rocks. Can you even contain yourself? I know that it's all going to be rather too much for me, and my pet guinea pig twinkles running around in circles like she's been huffing. This is the discovery of a feature in the rocky landscape of Mars that appears to resemble a doorway. Is it a doorway to a Martian house? Or perhaps the entrance to a whole underground extraterrestrial city? And it is true, this looks a lot like a doorway in the rock formation, and it has certainly rattled a few cages in the alien believer department. But what do you think this is about? Go on and elaborate. Tell me all about it in the comments section down below. Could it be aliens? Well, it is or it isn't, but perhaps it has to be. Number 15. First letter to be laser engraved on Mars. Typical human behavior, heading out to a new place and immediately scrawling all over it. I'm surprised that NASA nerds didn't just go ahead and draw a willy on the first rock the rover trundled past, but they restrained themselves, at least slightly, and just graffitied a rock in the name of science, so as to identify rock samples that they want to bring to Earth to study. They sent their Perseverance rover to mark the rocks with a laser engraver, before they're collected by the rover to bring back to Earth for further study. The graffitied rocks will likely be making their way down to Earth by the year 2031 in a joint NASA-European agency mission to study the red planet for signs of life. And then they'll be able to check properly to see if the aliens wrote back to us on those rocks. Well, here's a hint, they definitely did. What's that one say? Twinkle was here. Number 14. Perseverance Rover Butt Crack Rock here are some more of those images that the Perseverance rover has been busy sending back to Earth as it goes about the business of gathering information from the surface of the red planet. Now, as we no doubt have established by now, many of those pictures tend to be ever so slightly boring. You know, the sort of thing, rocks and more rocks, and then there are some rocks, oh, and don't forget about those rocks, and oh, yeah, rocks. But there is a bunch of dust, nope, 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 there's another rock, and finally, a rock. But sometimes the scientists who are tasked with looking through all of those rock pictures do find one that is marginally less tedious than all of the others, because it tickles their nerdy teenage level maturity brains, you know, the one where boobs and butts are hilarious and along with farts and stuff. It's so awesome. But when the really, really brainy super nerds at NASA found a rock that was shaped like, and I quote, a butt crack, well, it was all that they could do to contain themselves. Actually, they couldn't contain themselves. It was literally the most exciting thing that they'd ever seen on Mars, and they had to call up all the newspapers forthwith and share the wondrous news. The team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, yes, the same NASA that does all those incredible space science things, would name this rock the Butt Crack Rock. Such geniuses. Number 13. South Pole Angel and Heart This time we're in for a proper treat. 
The images that we're seeing are not those that are gathered by one of those cheeky rovers on the surface of Mars, but rather we're looking at some really snazzy satellite images. It makes a refreshing change, don't you think? What we're told this time around is that these are images taken of the South Pole of Mars. They were taken during the pole's summertime when the ice, that is usually at this point during the rest of the year, had melted. It had left behind this rather specific shape in the surface that looked, if you squinted a little bit and used your imagination, of course, like the outline of an angel. Well, a bit like a half-arsed snow angel, really, rather than a glowing celestial body. But what do you expect? This is Mars, not some sort of heavenly body. The satellite images also captured some rather exciting looking dust devils. These get whipped up much the same way as they do on Earth. The natural wind phenomena are vortices that are full of dust, and they have a smaller and similar shape and movement to a tornado. But dust devils are generally less intense and considerably more small than their windier and destructive cousins. They can range anywhere from 10 feet to 300 feet in diameter and have heights of somewhere between 500 and 1,000 feet. Now, in general, the dust devils won't last for much more than a few minutes, and the ones that they caught on Mars satellite made for a nice headline about angels and devils, if not much else. Number 12. Mother of Pearl Clouds Now we have a proper treat for your eyeballs, and guess what? It's not even rocks. NASA's Curiosity rover has captured some images of the cloud formations over Mars that have made the scientists' head spin, and they really are rather beautiful, aren't they? The Curiosity rover is tasked with not only looking at all the rocks and dust and dust and rocks, but also turning its cameras toward the sky from time to time to examine the clouds above. Until they began to truly examine the clouds with a proper method, NASA had believed that there was actually nothing special or particularly interesting about the clouds in the atmosphere of the red planet. However, this new study has proven that theory to be quite wrong. They've discovered that there are some truly special cloud formations. They actually put on quite a show for the rover as it sits on the surface of Mars. The clouds above this planet are very high and very cold, and this seems to make some unexpected things occur. These images show so-called mother-of-pearl clouds, which are named after that shimmering shell-like set of colors, just like in the seashells after which they are named. These clouds are created when frozen particles are formed at the same rate, and they then create a kind of density that allows them to reflect light in waves. And it is a very beautiful sight to behold. Perhaps it's all made the more interesting simply because it's not made of dust or indeed rocks. Number 11. NASA Rover Spots Unreal Mars Flower Formation here we are again with the rover on the surface of Mars being all kinds of things in the general gubbins and detritus that is strewn about the planet. Except that what we think we see isn't really what anything is. Like this image. It's been dubbed a Martian flower or a piece of coral. Except that this is an alien planet and all of our references, well, they don't exactly apply here. What may seem familiar is not the same as anything that we have here on Earth, but our brains, in trying to make sense of everything, Thing, we'll see the things with which we are already familiar. Like we've seen over and over again now, most of the objects that we think we see in the Mars landscape are just rocks. This, although it looks like a flower or a piece of coral, is actually a very tiny delicate structure that was formed by a mineral that came from water. This much we do know about Mars. It was once a watery planet, and as such, it has the residual effects of water all over its surface. Although the flower is not actually a flower, it does hold something quite beautiful inside. That's the potential to help scientists to figure out if the red planet was ever a life-supporting place, and when all that water flowed there, did things live there as well. Pardon me, things just got a tiny bit poetic and wistful there. I promise it won't happen again. Number 10. Mr. Peanut now back to some regular old footage where we see some nonsense in the surface of Mars. Whew, I was worried that we were heading towards something interesting then for a minute. So here is the Mars version of Mr. Peanut. Lucky us. 
This is a vague outline in the surface of Mars that slightly resembles the planter's Mr. Peanut mascot. Positioned at the South Pole, you remember, where we saw that discount angel already earlier on. This polar formation was captured by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO for short. The satellite imagery is the responsibility of the University of Arizona high-rise camera team. They will go through these images and then generally put out the more interesting ones for people to see. These bright sparks spotted Mr. Peanut, and suddenly there was a story where there probably isn't one really. Not if we're all being honest with each other. Number 9. NASA Finds Star Trek Symbol on Mars so far, how are you finding these so-called strangest things that are spotted on Mars? Is any of this stuff blowing your mind? Probably not, but I'll keep on going anyways because it's what I'm paid to do. Perhaps there's something utterly thrilling down here at the bottom of the barrel, so let's get up on the business of scraping. Here we have another image that's captured by the MRO High Rise Orbiter, and this time it is one to make all of those science fiction fans do a tiny little bit of peeing in their pants. They've found a shape that looks similar to the Star Trek logo. Yes, as if those guys didn't already have enough stuff to nerd out about, even Mars is offering up some more geek out material. NASA has, uncharacteristically, rushed to say that this icon has not been carved onto Mars by the starlet, even though it really does look a whole lot like that famous symbol, but is merely a coincidence. Yeah, a likely story. I think we all know the truth now, don't we? Number 8. Wild Dust Devil Tracks on Mars That Look Like Claw Marks now, as we've already seen, there are plenty of dust devils on Mars. You know, those swirling, furious wind phenomena that whip up all the dust and debris from the surface as they head back and forth across the landscape? Images from a distant NASA satellite caught these weird lines all higgledy-piggledy across the crater on the surface of the red planet. These lines are created by the regular dust devils that spin across the surface and seem to scrape great gouged-out markings all through the dust. They say that they look like claw marks because because it sounds much more cooler than just saying some vigorous wind caused all of it. It's nothing especially surprising, really. The force of the winds that power the dust devils can make these quite powerful entities, and they can certainly do some damage when we see them on Earth. So why not also on Mars? You know, on Earth in the desert, they can get up to the larger end of the scale and go about their whirling business for more than an hour. Even though these things are less bananas than a tornado, they're still capable of destruction. A big fat dust devil well, it can take out your shed or maybe even leave you red-faced in the outhouse. Number 7. Changes of a Happy Crater What's with all the incessant monitoring and recording of the surface of Mars, either with satellite imagery or with all the rovers rumbling about cluttering up the landscape? Now there's a massive database of Mars stuff for the NASA people to pour over and compare and contrast. Honestly, it is a space nerd's wet dream. So they've spent a decade looking at the so-called Happy Face Crater, and it's been changing over time. Surprise, surprise. Images that have been captured by the High Rise Camera that stands for High Resolution Imaging Science experiment, which is on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, shows the changing nature of the surface of the red planet. The Happy Face crater has been literally eroding away on camera, and it's now a much more pronounced happy face on the account of the erosion that's been taking place due to thermal activity. It doesn't seem to mind that it's getting worn away. In fact, it looks positively gleeful about the whole thing. Or perhaps it's just really high. Who could possibly say? Number 6. Mysterious Dark Deposit Suggests Mars Volcanoes Could Still Be Active it's been established that Mars was once full of seas and oceans and perhaps life, but they aren't certain about that one yet. These days, Mars is a dried up old husk without a drop of water anywhere. Its atmosphere is blown away, and it seems as though it's pretty much all the activity on the planet has long since ceased. It's basically a dead planet, which sucks for Mars really. But there has lately been a bit of a kerfuffle in the volcanic activity department, and it seems that everything on Mars is completely and utterly extinct. 
Well, sort of. The evidence had previously shown that there had been volcanic activity on Mars about two and a half million years ago or so, but now they think that volcanoes may have still been erupting as recently as 53,000 years ago. I know, that's not exactly what we would call recent, but in planetary and volcanic terms, apparently it's a very big deal. There's a big dirty blob that suggests that volcanoes on Mars may still have been active much more recently than scientists had previously believed. And as far as volcanoes go, those tricksy things means that there could still be a little light rumbling going on down beneath the surface. Number 5. A Fish-Shaped Rock on Mars uh-oh, here we go again. It seems as though when there is a slow news day or the NASA people are just a bit bored, they play a game of spot a rock that looks a bit like something else, and we all get to hear about it. Lucky old us. This time they found a rock that vaguely resembles a fish. Yeah, it's a rock but people think that it's shaped like a fish. Don't read anything into it though, it is not a fish, it is just a rock. Again, the Curiosity rover has been roaming around taking snaps and causing a kerfuffle with its pictures. Then again, when Mars has clouds that are sometimes shaped like flying saucers, faces in the rocks that seem to resemble Elvis, and that crab-shaped rock from earlier, a fish one? That's not exactly headline news. So come on now, rover, it's time to find Dolly Parton in a crater, or at least a Jesus shaped rock. The clever NASA people do say that even though we think these things look a bit like stuff, they are not fossils or anything as exciting as that. Mars apparently has never even had enough oxygen to support large life forms. The kind of life that they're all looking for on the red planet is merely microscopic and likely to be very simple, not nearly as thrilling as any big old fish. So I'm sorry to poop on that particular party. Even my pet guinea pig Twinkle is disappointed. Oh, poor girl. Number 4. Female Statue on Mars Now we're getting into Bigfoot sort of territory. This is what we all turned up for, I'm sure. This is the shape of a woman that was spotted in some images that were sent back from NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Spirit from the end of 2007. They appear to show a form that some eagle-eyed enthusiasts have said is that of a female figure. This, they are quick to note, is proof of life on Mars. Well, right then. Mars has no atmosphere. What in the world is this woman doing wandering about on a dead planet? And what the heck is she doing for food? The questions, well, they're endless. The answers are boringly simple. So come on, you know this one already. It's just a rock. Get a grip on reality, people. Rocks come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. But it was fun to imagine for a millisecond there, wasn't it? Number 3. Strange Deep Pit well, it was about time we got around to finding a mysterious hole. It's a rare day at the Fancy Banana when we don't probe a strange crevice. This is yet another sighting by the faithful NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. This time, it was busy spotting a deep pit instead of an unusual pattern or a weird scratch. This pit seems to form a black spot in the images, which is around 180 meters across. That's approximately 590 feet. So it is quite the sizable hole. They then spent a while tinkering with the pictures and brightening things up a bit so as to get a better idea of what might be inside of this strange hole. Well, it was all rather surprising to the NASA geophysicists apparently, and they said that the bottom of the pit seemed to be made of smooth sand and had a slope that headed in a southeasterly direction. Why this was surprising? Nobody actually said, but perhaps some of you big-brained individuals can help to enlighten me about the strangeness of this mystery hole. Comments, as always, down below. Thank you, Mutely, for your assistance in this matter. Number 2. An Ancient God's Face Here we go again, where this time it is definitely aliens. I feel it in my bones. I'm certain of it. Come on, NASA. Don't disappoint me and my pet guinea pig Twinkle. She's chomping at the bit. Oh, for Pete's sake, it turns out it's just another rock. Yep, here's a rock that some nosy Parkers have said looks a bit like their idea of an ancient god. Whatever the heck that might look like. It is a flattish rock which has the approximation of a facial feature, as well as other rather fetching mustache and beard combo. I mean, he is a dapper rock, that much is true, but calling this an ancient god? Well, that might be taking things just the teeniest bit too far. I mean, the rock kind of looks like me. 
What does that mean? Some nutters have even gone so far as to say that this here, you know, this rock, is evidence that there was life on Mars and they were god-worshipping individuals with a tendency to carve bearded faces into their rocks, rather than the amoeba that they most likely were. It is clever stuff for an amoeba, surprisingly handy with a chisel, you know. Number 1. Scratch Marks on Mars now to round things off, we have some more of our favorite scratch marks, where this time around, we are not peering at claw marks that have been made by some enormous and terrifying beast, not that we really were before, but that's besides the point. No, this time we're looking at something much more neat and almost uniform. This is an area on Mars known as Helles Planitia. It is a place which is inside of a colossal crater that's even bigger than Earth's Grand Canyon, and it's billions of years old. These scratch marks are etched into the basin, but they were not caused by dust devils like those that we've previously seen. These deep lines were most probably carved when dry ice was breaking up into large blocks and sliding down the slopes of the dunes. And as they went, they carved these stripes. There's actually imagery that shows the process in action elsewhere on Mars. That's all very interesting, but pardon me, where are the aliens? I think it's high time that we had some alien action over here, but gosh, Darn it, we've reached the end of our list, and there's barely been any whiff of aliens. I am so disappointed, and my pet guinea pig Twinkle is crying all over the place. Isn't Mars interesting? Well, kind of. What did you make of all this Martian business? Do you think that those rocks are actually proof of a species of sculpture-loving aliens, or are they just a load of boring old space rocks after all? As always, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.